So I haven't seen this car in about two months now. And um, yeah, that's the progress. I swear, being a car guy fucking sucks, sucks. Every time, every time we talk about this car, it's always adding on something. I don't care if it's motor change or suspension parts or motor parts. It doesn't matter. It always change. So, um, yeah, y'all hear me talk about it all the time. So, here it is. Got my hands a little dirty. But, of course, as always, the daggone battery on the gun is dead. And I didn't bring my regular tools. And, plus, I'm not in the best close to do so so um yeah so yeah everybody seen me heard me talk about it so here it is still no motor it's gonna get there eventually it's on jacks now that's the motor behind me it's going in so hopefully in the next month or so it'll be done i kind of feel like tj hunt at the moment Missing his Miley. He got his back. Now mine's got to go re get ready to get built and finished. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to get it. So along with all the fitness stuff I'm doing, I'm also a car guy. It's not on the page, not on Instagram at all, but it's there. So, um, yeah, motorless. My other car is getting done. I'm going to go home, hit the session, and I'll see you in the morning. There she is. I haven't seen her in two months now. So my intention was today was to come by and drop the suspension and get some bay work done. But of course, that is not going to happen. Here is the motor. It's going to get done, put in. And I have a multiple stuff in here in the looking wheel. What up, guys? January the 7th. And as you see, it's snowing outside. But that is not going to stop me. So last night, I got the motor back from the Civic and most of the parts for it. So the goal today is to get it all blown apart, clutch inspected, manifold fitted, Manifold fitted and to put the turbo on, see what it's gonna look like, and then get the dimensions on the intercooler. All right, guys, so what we have here is a GSR B16 head with a welded LSD trance, and I think it's a stage three clutch that's in there. Down there is a 60 trim turbo BWR. Manifold precision turbo blow up valve. And so, yeah, that is what I'm working with. Everything is stock, but it's not going to be for long. Just until I can get both of my cars fixed, then the Civic is going to go back under the gun to get upgraded. But we'll see. So, I'm going to close this door because it's getting really cold and set up for a mock-up on turbo manifold and morning guys so it's another day got the motor in last night test fitted the manifold and the turbo on it and it's massive let me show y'all guys it is january the 31st oh man it's back got this for back last night and if you don't know what a honda garage supposed to look like here we go 
three generations, 91, 99, 2002. Mm. Looks good. So, my objective today is to get the motor together and fix. I was gonna build one, but since I have 30 days until the start of car season, and I wanna get that done as fast as possible so I can be at the first meet of the year, we're just gonna try our luck at the motor that I already have. And I know that I had some problems with it. I'm just gonna fix them as much as possible. And then if it dies on a dyno, then just build a new one. But that's what's gonna happen. So let me show you. All right, guys, let me give you a proper rundown how the car is at this current stage, A1. So there's no motor, there's no nothing in it. Um, what's gonna happen is like this blue or this blue, something of these two shades is gonna go all the way over in, in the engine bay. So I gotta sand it down, get rid of a lot of these wires that are sitting here. Um, fuel, fuel rail, fuel line, brakes, heater core stuff is right there. Uh, power steering, I'm gonna tuck, end up getting rid of the actual pump, but looping it down there. And then, uh, yeah, so it's kind of bare, but it's, it, it's in. All right, guys, so it is now probably like three days after I took everything apart, got everything looked at. And of course, this is my box of bagged and tagged stuff. But um, yeah, so this was going down. This head right here came off of that motor. And this head here is have a lot of leakage in cylinder one and cylinder two because of valve guards leaking and valves. Yeah, valve guards are leaking, so that has to be replaced. Now, the thing about this head is it has a lot of corrosion in it. As far as you can see, how bad those valves are dirty, like super, super dirty. So what I'm gonna do is since these are aftermarket valves, I mean springs and retainers, I'm just gonna take these and put it in this head. This head is fairly clean. You can see where I got most of the carbon off of it. And I'm just gonna replace the, I believe that's the intake valves. I'm just gonna replace those and put it in this one. But let me show you the difference between the aftermarket one and this one. I don't know if you can see them, but down there, you see how they're kind of like flat all the way across. Those are stock valves. And here are the aftermarket ones, stock aftermarket. So yeah, so in terms of this head going into that one and this block, well, when I took it apart, I wanted it to be okay, but it's not. I have a lot of cylinder scarring, scarring in it. Uh, piss and play is within tolerance, but since the cylinder walls needs to be honed and stuff because they're like Super super smooth and shiny and you can see it in the reflection. They're real real shiny. They need to be honed So I'm just gonna take the time to get new pistons rods get it clinked up And I might just go ahead and get a sleeve block just because by the time I get all the machine work done to this stock block It's gonna cost me the same to get a sleeve one. So that's what that's what's going on so what's about to happen, drop the other two pistons out of this motor and hone it and then um, try to get it cleaned up and have the pistons and rods back in by tonight. So let's get it. What up guys, so I just pulled the pistons, the last two pistons out of the block and everything is Gucci. And I just wanted to show you guys why you should thoroughly check your motor. Okay guys, so I just did cylinder number two and it came out okay. You can see that I clearly got the hash, the cross marks on there. And that's what it was before. And that's what it is now. Um, since I had problems getting the drill started, you see that I have two little marks here, right there. And uh, everything else seems to be fine. I got a little bit scarred down the cylinder there. 
Disclaimer, never done this before. We're gonna try for the first time and see how it works. So in this bottle, I just have regular motor oil. I, and this is a beer at home that I borrowed from one of my got friends who was working on this car. And um, yeah, so we're gonna hone these cylinders and we're going to get it. So let's see how this works. I'm not too happy about that because I, I was trying to get it. Well, when you do this, you're supposed to spin the, the home before you get it into the cylinder and keep it moving as it goes, as you go inside and pull. I'm not too happy about that. I'm hoping that that's not gonna create too much problems. Um, so, but when you hone a block, you're supposed to oil the piston, oil the cylinder, and then start to hone spinning before you even put it in the cylinder. That will decrease the chance of you scarring it, you know, as you do it. But I got stuck in there a couple of times, try to pull it out, couldn't get the drill to attach to it so I could spin it out. So that's what happens. You gotta be careful. But I'm gonna still do the other three cylinders and then we're just gonna rock with that. I'm not gonna even take it to the machine shop and have them bore it over. I'm just gonna roll with it. I need to get this car done. So, and I'm already planning on building a bottom end for this. So I'm not going to just, you know, cry about it. But yeah, I'm gonna get these other three done and um, see how it looks. Okay guys, so I just did cylinder number two and it came out okay. You can see that I clearly got the hash, the cross marks on there. And that's what it was before and that's what it is now. Um, since I had problems getting the drill started, you see that I have two little marks here, right there. And uh, everything else seems to be Fine. I got a little bit scarred down the cylinder there. So let's see how we did. Little bit of scar on the top of that cylinder. Huh. Yeah, but this one is actually pretty perfect all the way around. Huh. It's not bad. Okay. So. What up, guys? So it is like day, I want to say like four. I physically worked on this car. I'm still waiting for a lot of parts and a lot of tools to come in. I didn't want to buy too much before I got the actual car back. So I'm just waiting on stuff that happen or come in so I can get things going. But um, I did put the pistons and rods back in. Torque rent, my torque bar is screwed up so I couldn't torque them down. But what I did today was went ahead and took the head and just sat it on here. I didn't tighten everything down because I need to get my engine harness straightened out. And as you can see, it's not the best looking harness. That's the harness that came out with the car. And I did pick up a 97 GSR harness. That's in much, much better condition, but I want to keep all original parts that came with the car. So I'm gonna take this and throw it on a motor and get everything duct taped and, I mean, not duct taped, electrical taped and get it all tidied up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So as you can see, I clearly <laughs> have been out of the game for too long. 
I used to be able to put a harness on the motor like super, super quick. It's only like six plugs you gotta do. And I don't even know where how this is. And the bad part is this is an OBD O OBD O2 harness going for OBD1 setup. So there's actually an extra seven plugs that is not needed at all. I should have marked those a while ago, but I didn't. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the GSR harness and plug it in to here and then use the plugs to match on this harness so I can fix it. So yeah, let's go back to it.